I was doing some just a little bit of thread painting this morning so I thought I would go ahead and um, do a video of it post it so that Marianne can see what I'm doing I have two different greens going through the eye of one needle needle up, press her foot up, over, and start on the other side. I'm using two yellows next, and that is <clears throat> just to have a thicker, thicker stitching. the between the um, pink and the green with the yellow then over stitch some on the green and over stitch some on well, the I pink. still have the yellow in I am stitching around these circles the next color is a mix of this salmon and sort of coral so you can see the effect that I'm getting with this combination of threads and I'm stitching over the yellow and over the purple and also extending the design I'm going to show you what I've got now I've got this nice little diamond pattern being created in between the two sides so these are rayon threads that I'm using for this design. Very shiny and silky so with this blue-green combination, I'm stitching back and forth here. A little bit up there, up and down on the stem. And then I'm describing the leaves. So here we are at this point. Next I'm going to use a single color and a single strand to do some uh, filling in. Uh, and because it's single strand, it's single color, um, I'll get a stronger color effect. Um, but it's not going to build it up too much because there's already a lot of build up in the stitches. So I'm thinking about, I'm going to uh, go ahead and use this same pretty green in the middle of these diamonds. So I'm contour stitching. Okay, um, I'm following the contours of the previous stitching. So it's not just a flat straight up and down, it's, there's some um, directionality to the stitching and it's prettier that way. I'm 
these are the colors that I'm using for the tall buds. Needle up, press your foot up. Now, when I'm doing the circle, I'm describing this part, and then I'm stitching around that way, and then sort of stitching kind of up and down in the middle. Press your foot down. So we're at this point. And um, now I'm, I'm going to cut the threads between those, what you call, jump stitches. Now it's time for the blue skies. So I have these. This is sort of an aqua, and then that's a pale, um, kind of a silvery blue. It's a better idea to start stitching slow when you're going in smaller spaces like this. It takes practice to get good control. There, I really like that background blue. What am I going to do with this? Well, it might be a little cuff bracelet or it might go on a little handbag. I have some granddaughters <clears throat> and they love these colors. And I'm making it close up so you can see the stitching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Have fun with your stitching. Stitch on. This has been Terry White. Oh, one more thing. Um, if you want to learn how to thread paint, I have classes on Blueprint. Go to blueprint.com and look up Free Motion Machine Embroidery by Terry White. Okay, till next time. Bye-bye.